ready? Oh yeah. Oh god. Right. I feel like this makes me look uglier. While you pick. Help, I can't conceal my ugly. <laughs> hey guys, it's Grant and T it's Shelby. <laughs> wow! Okay. Sorry. Um, here today with Gym Talk episode 28. If not 29, I don't remember. Ooh, approaching the big three zero. Yeah. We're, uh, we're about to settle down, have a kid, and uh, think about... Uh, Who, you and Tyler? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe our kids, the watch mojos. I think your kid would be a pre-workout of some kind. I'm saying, okay, like series-wise, like... Oh, all oh, those haven't come out yet? No, they haven't yet. Shh. Well, they might. This would come out after this. I think I, yeah, so I just made the first well. one. And it, they probably come out this week, so yes. It would be coming out this week. But anyway, um, so yeah, we are here. I'm taking a Celsius Heat Cherry Lime. And you got Celsius Live Fit. And I had one yesterday. Sparkling orange. And uh, to, this morning has been less than ideal. Yeah, not really the greatest. As I woke up, and of course, this rain, yeah. as you hear it, which I apologize, um, but uh, on top of that, I left my car window open. Like all the way, not just all a crack. the way. All the way. Open as it was raining, and I had no idea. You should show the people. No. <laughs> It looks too bad. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so now I'm dealing with water stains in my car. It's great. So, as of today, the world is ending. Yes. We're going to Olive Garden, and after that, we're okay for the world to end, because we get pasta. At least that. That's at least something, right? Is this a reference to something or no? I'm just saying, yeah, I'm saying you're. You like, want Olive Garden to be your last meal? I would want Olive Garden to be my last meal. <laughs> um, we won't have a post gym talk because one of us will be dead. Yeah, no, totally. That makes sense. Place bets on who you think would win a fight. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> We're currently up in KC. We're actually not down in the spring of field. Or Spring Vegas. Spring Vegas. Yeah, because of uh, we have some family things to take care of, and then um, I'm going to Bristol this week. Which oh. is, I don't. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. But uh, also hung out with a couple of my friends and had a cigar. I very much appreciated it. It was my old school Don Pepin Garcia. Love it. It's great. Oh, I turned my friends. They're the OGs. I don't know. It just brought back memories. Yeah. Which is really cool. So. Did you buy a cigar for your dad? No. Even though that place had a lot. Holy cow. They had like almost every other one I could think of. Except they did not have Kristoff, which that made me kind of mad. I didn't want to have the Kristoff Sumatra again, but I don't know when I'll ever have that ever again. So. Screw them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Maybe this might. That might do a little bit better. Plus, the spotlights, so people can't see my face. Which that's what you want, right? Correct. So, um. Yeah, I uh, also came to realize as I was driving up here, I do not like the, the drive at all. To KC. to KC? Yeah. You don't like driving it or just? I don't like driving it. Mm -hmm. As I was driving, I was like, I just wish I had a Tesla that could drive itself so I didn't it's, have to drive. It's just a two lane highway basically for like 200 miles. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to see. I just wish I could not drive this and. I'll drive on the way back. No. I like driving it. <laughs> Bye! See ya. She is. No. Um, yeah, trust me to drive your car. I do. 
Bullshit. I don't know. It's like it. It's. Uh, is it anybody or is it just me? It's anybody. Okay, that's fine. It's anybody. So. Plus, I haven't actually even rid on the passenger side, so it would feel super weird. Yeah, it would. I, I, I don't. I, don't I, I wouldn't like that at all. Wouldn't like that. Um. Oh, the Mr. Olympia is coming up. How far, far into September is it? Like what, two months? Whenever I will be in Oregon. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. Um, let's see here. Recent news from that. Not really much. Phil Heath might compete. He might not. Uh, people are saying that he probably won't, but he's looking really good. Really great. Um, and just like, quote unquote, what is it like? Four, it's it's like four, three, four weeks out, something like that. It's something Probably super four. close. Probably four. And uh, I could pull out a calendar, but yeah, don't yeah. really want to. We're real high energy today. We're very high energy, but I, you know what? I figured I was like, let's still do it. Let's still. We got to keep consistency. So I'm no Tyler, but you know. Get taught, boys. <laughs> uh. And like, I can't even do the high pitch just because of smoking. <laughs> like, it's, I feel like my voice is like Josh Turner. Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. No. See ya. Yeah. Dude, that song is like, about like a man like, uh, I don't think people need an explanation. Well, no, it's 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 kind of actually. If you stop and listen to it, like he's almost like forcing her. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not. He's he says like I've been thinking about this all day long, and like he's like very. Like have have you heard the song just to be your man? Have you? Yeah. Just because he's been thinking about doing her all day makes him a rapist. No, it's like, I'm gonna lock the door and turn the lights down low so you can't see, so I'm just gonna sneak in. He asks her to turn, to lock the door and turn the lights low. He asks her. <laughs> oh, I thought it was actually like him saying, baby, I'm gonna lock the door and turn the he lights says, down baby, low. baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. Sorry, Josh Turner. <laughs> God. What even is this gym talk? I don't know. Pick a topic. I'm trying. <laughs> you turned to rape? That's, I went from Mr. Olympia to Josh Turner. You're talking about shit that I don't talk about. I'm trying to think of something. Harry Potter. What a... See, I don't know. Oh my god. Um, That's it, folks. We've expired as human beings. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! No, I, I don't know. We just... Um, gosh, I can always cut stuff out, too, so... <laughs> That's at least good. There's gonna be two minutes Editing of power. usable footage. Editing power. God. Um... Yeah, uh, you're gone next week, and then the week after I start classes, so I'm gone for the next 16 weeks, basically. Yep. Yeah. What classes do you have again? Um, strategic management, my marketing seminar, and then I don't remember my other class, but something... This is very hard to drink. <laughs> something management. Or marketing, marketing management, maybe. Yeah, just combine the two words. <laughs> probably just something. Just combine the two words. I don't know, but. Have, uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think you have? Do you think you have the full real world knowledge Absolutely in those not. classes? No. no. Nope. I mean, school help has helped me learn a lot, but not. So marketing and management are all theory. Don't get me wrong, I love 
theories. <laughs> like, my minor in undergrad was in psychology, like all of it. Right. I love theory, but learning about theory can only get you so far. And when it comes to actually applying that theory, it's a lot of just trial and error. And truthfully, I mean, when I'm in situations, I don't think, you know, how would, what, how would my actions move my employees up Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Like, you know, yeah. I don't, I don't think about that. And so <sighs> college has helped me in a lot of ways. Real world experience is not necessarily one of them. Yeah. I don't regret my time in school at all. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not ready for the whatever quote unquote, like the real world of like marketing and management. Yeah, I remember that transition from like, because since I was like closer to the end of, of, um, of my schooling, with like, I did, um, I did an internship like for a little bit during the summer, but then like closer to like my last semester, you know, they were offering me a part time to then to full time, mm -hmm. and I accepted it. And with that, I remember getting into meetings and like, what was it? What was it? Was it, did I go to school Tuesday and Thursday or did I do, did I go? You were Tuesday, Thursday. I did go to school Tuesday, Thursday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday you were working. Well, I was working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And then like, I, I, I would listen into those, like, not classes, but I would listen into those meetings and they would say some vocab and majority of it was CIS vocab. Mm. And so I was just like, oh, I know that word. Oh, I know that word. Oh, I know that word. But then I'm just like, wait this doesn't make any sense. And I'm just like, yeah, you, get, you huh. got like the surface level understanding of things. So, I mean, you know, school prepared you more than the average, you know, whoever that didn't take like marketing or CIS classes. So you would like yeah. know more than them, but if I did go back, I would, I would get a CIS degree. Oh yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Just cause of it's so much more practical. It is. But the thing is I would hate it. I would hate it. I would I would do a CIS with an emphasis in marketing. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah. You kind of did that. Research. Kind of. Yeah, research, but like... Research... Yeah, it just seems... It's very interesting, because like the research department that, you know, that's at my job, it's only one person. Mm -hmm. And so like, what I always thought of is that they were going to do like a combination of qualitative and quantitative simultaneously. But instead, she does them every other. And she'll do like focus groups every once in a while. She's just like, they're just so expensive. Yeah, and well, research is expensive. Yeah, but I'm, but, but I'm just like, I'm like, okay, well how expensive? And she tells me the amount and compared to my budget, it's like a penny. Yeah. I'm like, really? It's not that expensive. It really isn't if you stop and think about it. But what's her budget versus yours? Yeah, you know? and then, then on top of that, like how she like measures things too, it's just like... Don't start trash talking your fellow employees. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> I won't, yeah. but... Let's not put that on the internet. Um, I don't know. I think the majority of what I've learned that I can bring to like future careers has been through employment experiences, which anybody will tell you that, yeah. you know? School gives you like the basis, quote unquote, but like you really learn through your like real experiences. And so like my graduate assistantship is like where I've learned not necessarily a lot about marketing, but a lot about management. Self-management and then management of others. I have a Whew, I have a story to tell you that I have not told you yet that transpired yesterday. And I, it involves trash talking a person, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but it's regarding my job and it's just, it's, it's about learning how to manage people that are very, very, very different from you. And that has been the most valuable experience I've gained through school. So like, had I not gone back to school, I wouldn't have had these experiences. So, anyways. Um, so I remember like, like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. Um, we've talked a lot in regards to like, you know, dream jobs, all this other stuff. Yeah. And 
We've also talked about, like on this channel, a lot about, you know, aspiring to be whoever, but like, and which I know that you're really into makeup. Mm -hmm. And I know that if you had a combination of like somehow dealing with doggos and makeup, it would be like the perfect match. But I'm saying Ooh. like, what what is your goal? Like, what is something that you've wanted to do? Like, for it can even be within two, like this these past two years. Because for me, honestly, yeah. like thinking about having a gym and content, mm -hmm. it's been these past two years. It hasn't been like yeah. a full on thing, right? Yeah. No, um, I was never the kid that knew what I wanted. Yeah. I mean, besides in like the third grade when I was dead set on being a marine biologist. See, for me, I I, I wanted to be a music producer. Yeah. So, oh. so sorry. I wanted I wanted to uh, <sighs> to record the next Taylor Swift. What? Sorry. Did you have to burp? No, I just had a massive cramp. Okay. Oh. Cut that. Sorry. Watch, I'll have a nope <laughs> on the side. No. <laughs> Whew, okay, we're good. We're good. Um, no, my right now, which this could change, but. Where I see myself, what I see myself doing is obviously graduating in December. Yeah. And then I would like to get a job somewhere doing basically anything within like marketing, brand management, that kind of thing. Okay. I want to gain some experience. I want to see how I operate in like a corporate setting. Okay. But I want to go back. I want to get my PhD in marketing and I want to be a professor. Okay. Yeah. You bring in the buku bucks, so then I spend it all on a gym. That's fine. I will be the breadwinner. I yeah. don't, like, I'm totally fine with that. To be honest, I really just want to get a warehouse. Oh, yeah. It'd be sick. That's what I want to do. Yeah, no, that'd be awesome. And then in another warehouse, once I get enough money, I would drop ship everything. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. For all the creators out there. I'm sorry. So... Man, this is honestly not hitting as hard as I thought it would be. We also started at like negative 10. Yeah, cause like this is typically, this one typically like gets me like juiced. Yeah, it does. It's almost nine. Oh God. Yeah, it's almost nine and like I drink about all the way down to here and I'm just like, eh, it is what it is. Yeah. I think it's the flavor. Yeah, it's like too syrupy or something. Now, I will say that... Is this zero calories? Yeah. Zero grams of sugar. Oh. Hmm. 15 calories. But, um... Weird. I will say the dragon fruit one, they did have that in there. I was really tempted to get it again because I really like the dragon fruit one. Mm -hmm. That was actually the first one I've ever had. Oh, really? Mm hmm mm. And then the blue, oh then the red, now the green. So. I haven't had a Celsius heat. I just have had the. Oh. Okay. Never mind. My body says no. <laughs> and the funny thing is that I didn't even notice that. Me <laughs> hiccuping. <laughs> it's just such a regular thing. Such a regular thing. Yeah. But. All right. Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm. Yes. Yeah, sorry. We're trying. We are trying. I, I will say I feel less inclined to murder you now. Okay, well that's good. So we're on we're on the right track for the day. Started down here, we're like Started from the bottom, now we here. About two feet from the bottom, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay. It's fine. We're still in the shallow end, it's fine. <laughs> okay, well this will be episode, I believe, I'm pretty certain twenty eight. Are you like Star Wars or something? Sure. Um, Wherever you want me to be. Gross. Um, you you made that gross. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're both going to be doing back today, which I think that's going to help us a little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you good? No. Man, this is this is probably one of the lowest of lows <laughs> of uh, of gym talks. But it's okay, you know, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, everything's 
for being transparent. We got some new kicks. We got some really cool ones, actually. Those are pretty cool. I honestly don't, also don't know how I'm going to work out from in Bristol, but I'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this is the episode. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you are, if you have made it this far. God bless America. <laughs> yeah. God bless you. Because we love you. <laughs> You're the real one. You're the real OGs. My lord. So, uh, Tyler, yeah, that, that, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Thanks, friend. I don't think he even watches them, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so there's going to be more content coming out pretty soon. Um, I just need to start editing, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be I'm gonna be keeping doing the three days a week with Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Um, I know that there's a really large split in between Monday or Tuesday to Friday, but... Um, I'm gonna continue to see how how many I can do, and then once I feel a lot confident and I have enough content set, like readily available, then that's when I will start increasing to four days a week. And I'm thinking about possibly doing Thursdays, so it'd be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, mm. which is pretty cool because since then it's like the tail ends, right? Mm -hmm. Closer to the tail ends. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, so. I'll be doing that, and um, and with that, and with that, we bid adieu. See you later.